Welcome to the series. This is the first tutorial series. All right, let's get started. So what is the objective of here? The objective is we are trying to understand. We will see how to create a very basic process. Let's get started. So this is the tool that you see here. So let's start by launching this tool. So you see here blue prism tool. Just double click. Let's just start it. And um, you see the connection. This is basically the connection. You can change the connection here as well. We'll be talking more about the connection later now just log in here i have admin admin one two three this for the testing environment and this is the tool that i have already given an introduction to this tool in the demonstration earlier session and now anyway just have a uh, let's have a very very quick thing on that you see studio control dashboards releases system so we'll be jumping deeper into that later but today's session in today's session we'll try to create uh, something uh, something productive so let's uh, go ahead and just create a process try to understand the basic things that are there so before creating a process what exactly is a process process is nothing but it's it's like kind of like a mapping you say uh, or um, uh, which contains different it's a flow chart mapping flow chart process they are all pretty much the same we will see objects objects are like reusable components and objects and processes are pretty closely attached we call the objects in processes all right, all right, let's not complicate things. Let's just go ahead and create a very simple process. So you go here, right click, create process. And let me just say hello world. All right, so we have a hello world. Uh, always give a meaningful description. I'm skipping that because I'm just, uh, I just want to give you something useful in a short moment of time. So, so you guys, you see here, this is the start, this is the end, and all the stuff that you want to put, you put here. All right, so in between, you put all the useful logic. For example, what kind of logic? Let's say I don't want to put any logic. I want to create something like just say hello world from starts and then finishes. So what you do is you just link them. So when I link them, now the process is completed. Does it do something useful? Uh, this one, no, this one doesn't do anything useful. But yeah, it's just start and it's just the most basic thing that you can create in Blue Prism. So then you do it and then you save it. So you just say, okay, my first program, just say save the changes and uh, pointer, reset, and then all right. So we are get set, sorry, we get set and we can run it. So I ran it, you can see here, it started from the start and then end. Now I know I'm I don't know if you understood much from this thing because okay it wasn't much meaningful but what I will do now is let me put some transformation stuff or let's say some some object something so that um, will make it a bit more useful all right so let's to do that uh, you need to understand what are the different things that you can use it so all the stuff that you see right here on the left hand side so you see data items, you see calculations, multiple calculation, choice, decision, action, anchor. We'll be talking about all of them in the future sessions. Now in this session, let's talk about something very, very simple. Let's say I have, I am going to take a data item. So what's a data item? Data item is like, it's a variable. So I'm sure you have, you would have studied like C, C++, Java or something like, let's say C, C++ in high school. So you got variables, right? So that's the thing here. This is the variable. I double click it and I can choose a data type like date, timestamp. You know what date, timestamp. It's just the type uh, of data, right? So let's say I choose a number and I'm just going to say 10. So 10 and I will say just var1, 10. It's very simple. So I just created a variable with the value of 10. All right. Now let me just reset this. And what I will do is, so we have already used something called as data item. Now let's uh, call the calculation one. What does it do? It's very, very simple. You just add, if you want to add, subtract, any kind of calculation, if you want to do it, then you use the calculation. So let's just click on it. It's quite simple to do. Now just pointer. Uh, see, if you want to use the shortcuts, initially, uh, don't you don't need that but if you want to use the shortcuts f2 f3 here you go all right you can check it out later now let's say just delete this then what i'll do is link and hit on this here then here all right now simple 
the pointer head. Now let me just bring it back here. Now what, what is the calculation that I want to do? So let's do a very very simple one. Let's call another variable. Variable means a data item. So let's say data item. Then um, then just say data type number. Um, let's say var2. And this one is 20. Okay. Then yeah. All right. It's done. Now create one more variable and let's say just the result okay it's very simple guys you don't need to worry if you have no idea on programming nothing you, let's say you know nothing you don't know anything you don't need to worry you can still do this it's quite simple and easy all right it's very simple now what i'll do is i'll do see here i'll go here and what i want is i want to add var1 and var2 and i want to store that result in result so what I'll do is drag it, then I'll just say plus, then I'll say drag this one. Simple. And I want to store the result of this two in result. So what I'll do is drag result, or I could have written it as well, but it's always a good thing to drag it. So drag it, done. It's quite simple. I'll just say add. All right. It's okay. So it looks like it's done, right? So save it. My uh, second version just gives something really meaningful it really matters okay so I'm, I'm just gonna say a second version not that great thing what I did but it's okay now so it's it's done right we wanted created this now let's try to run it how do we run it just go ahead and uh, run it so what just happened I mean what is 10 plus 2 30 right so i mean 10 plus 20 30 so here i go so what happened is this var1 var2 got added and 20, 30 so that was the result now you see we have seen something uh, we've seen how to create a process and now we have we then we have seen how to use the data items and calculations it was useful but not that useful that useful when i say it did not give you a uh, overall picture like for example you know what I really love about a training is um, if it's practical I mean if I can learn how to use it and implement that thing in the project that's useful not some technical stuff so our trainings like my training strategy and style the this free, free tutorial what whatever you're seeing I'll be trying to put I'll be putting the project stuff the real-time stuff that we do in the companies right so that you get a project practical exposure so saying that you can't directly jump into that thing to jump into that first of all you need to understand some of the basic technical stuff now once you are done with that you are on with the real-time thing so we will see the real-time thing later but in the first four or five uh, stuff we're gonna be talking about technical I'm gonna make you a technical expert then I'm, I'm gonna make you a functional expert all right enough said I think that was pretty much so that's it for this series thank you very much for getting tuned if you like it love it and all that stuff please share the comment thank you very much I'll be looking for that comment thank you very much thanks guys see you in the next